on 2012 63 Hatteras GT. The 63 GT as they commonly refer to it. Got a nice, large, and plentiful rocket launcher. Big door in the back. Got your live wells here. Storage. Tackle. JL Audios. Nothing but the best. Got a sink in here. Nice seats, everything's in working order on the seats. And AC, AC, that feels good on a hot day. We got some coolers, freezers down here. Big boxes you can use as storage or obviously if you know how to catch fish, you can fill them with fish. All right, gonna head either inside or the bridge now. Let's see, which one are we gonna do? All right, well, decided to come up to the bridge. And a lot is self-explanatory here, but there are a couple things. So we got four teasers up here, quad teasers. Standard controls, controls here, bow thruster. You guys know this kind of stuff. 24 inch monitors. Usually you'll see triple monitors there, maybe even four, but these are 24s. Pretty nice touch. Got a freezer here. That comes in handy. That absolutely comes in handy. And you got storage here, storage here, of course, more storage here. Shot of the bow. And that's it for the bridge, guys. All right, guys, tower view times 2012 Hatteras 63 GT. Or 63 Adderis G, I don't know. You guys get it. So Garmin monitor in excellent condition. I know it's a 2012, but that's obviously new and well taken care of. Maybe not new, new, but well taken care of. Everything here is in great shape. I mean, all this is covered. I think we're getting this replaced. So don't worry about that. That's getting redone. And good shot of the bow here, top of the bridge. Leaning back, looking down over the cockpit. Nice high, high views up here in Miami right now. Beautiful. All right, guys, next step, salon. All right, guys, we are now in the salon of the 2012 63 Hatteras GT. And check this thing out, man. Awesome woodworking. These chairs, epic, absolutely epic. We got, it's like two TVs over here, two TVs. Why have one when you have two at twice the price? Little wine cooler. Look at this table, guys. Oh, the boat just moved a little bit. Sorry about that. Check out this table, man. A lot of craftsmanship there. We got a rod holder. This thing actually comes down uh, autom uh, electrically, up and down. <clears throat> this is super unique here. I've never seen this before, but this is uh, this is probably one of the most awesome offices I have ever seen. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. And then we have the galley. Looks like you got plenty of freezers, coolers, storage, everything you need up in here. This is awesome. All right, take one more view of the salon and let's head downstairs. All right, heading downstairs. Pretty cool little arm rail there, handrail. I'm gonna go into the master first. Yeah, it's nice, man. Really nice. Love this wood color. It's rich without being too dark. We got the head in the master there. Nice big TV. Yeah, I'll just give you guys kind of a layout here. 
give you guys a view of the layout, the way the boat's laid out. We're gonna come into another head here, and this is a full head. Sorry about the, the mess in here. So we got another full shower. So, so far that's two full heads. This is probably I guess crew, but it's, that's good sized bunks for crew. We actually have some more bunks here now. So this is storage. This is your washer and dryer. You need to open those. So yeah, there's a couple more bunks here. So that's so far two full heads, four bunks. And we're gonna come into now the third full head because we also have a shower in here. So that's three full heads, two bunk rooms, a master, and now the VIP. We get even more sleeping space. So we can obviously like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or nine, ten. Ten people sleep on this boat comfortably. Three full heads, that's awesome. Alright guys, to the engine room.